Hi guys, it is a yeah day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization where we have made it to Thanksgiving 2018. That would be Thursday, November 22nd, 2018. So I've got to give Sancho Claus a bath uh, before he starts his new job as the mascot of the Optimist Club Christmas Tree Lot on Black Friday tomorrow. And then we've got to pack up and move out of the paradise of Garfield, Texas. Uh, so, before I dive into all of that today, just going to bring you today's Chronicle of the Collapse. And I was originally planning to make this uh, about Black Friday, where this article talking uh, about how Black Friday is, an ab is the most shining example of how overconsumption is taking down the planet. And all along the side of uh, the story uh, on Yahoo News about Black Friday, uh, leading this planet into social and ecological collapse. Take a wild guess what there were. There were like 20 ads on Yahoo News about all of the Black Friday deals. If for anyone reading about Black Friday taking down a planet, all they had to do was go one inch away to find all of the Black Friday deals. And uh, anyway, so that was going to be my rant. But these Black Friday rants, maybe I'll do that tomorrow. But then I uh, opened up the news and the uh, mainstream media headlines. And probably, this was probably about the 30th. Uh, news story in the, you know, in Yahoo News's little Rolodex of news, uh, the editors at Yahoo News figured this was, you know, should play somewhere about number 30 on the, on the roll. My God, I'm doing it again. I'm going to, uh, I don't believe I have done this again. I'm, I'm going. I'm just. I'm just going to hide. I'm. I'm, go, I'm going to hide. Uh, anyway, don't have time to start this video over. <clears throat> Greenhouse gas levels in atmosphere hit new high. Do you think so? <clears throat> The level, this is the French news service. There is no American news service, at least in Yahoo News. So they had to go to France to find this story. The levels of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, the main driver of climate change, have hit a new record high. The United Nations said on Thursday, warning that the time to act was running out, which is the same warning the UN was making in 1989, talking about the time for the planet to act was running out, and here we are almost 30 years later, and the UN is warning that the time to act is running out. Ahead of the COP 24 climate summit in Poland next month, top UN officials are again trying to raise the pressure on governments to meet the pledge of limiting warming to less than two degrees Celsius and hopefully one and a half degree enshrined in the 2015 Paris Accord. So uh, this is Petri Talas head of the World Meteorological Organization. Quote, Without rapid cuts in CO2 and other greenhouse gases, climate change will have increasingly destructive and irreversible impacts on life, 
on earth. The window of opportunity for action is almost closed. I think I, the first time I remember seeing this line was uh, in a in a book published in 1948, uh, Our Plundered Planet, in 1948, uh, talking about how the window of opportunity to save planet Earth was almost closed. And uh, just in case there's anybody who does not understand this, the window of opportunity to save the planet slammed shut. I don't know, we'll call it December 21st, 2012 is the day the world ended. <sighs> Getting back to the United Nations. Uh, in an open letter to all countries ahead of COP, 24, UN Rights Chief Michelle Bachelet warned of cataclysmic consequences to the planet if the world does not reverse course. So this is what happens if we do not reverse course. Quote, entire nations, ecosystems, peoples, and ways of life could simply cease to exist, she said, citing evidence that nations are not on track to meet their commitments made in Paris. Mm. U.S. President Donald Trump, who pulled his government out of the Paris Agreement again on Thursday, appeared to cast doubts on climate science when he tweeted this morning, Brutal and extended cold blast could shatter all records. Whatever happened to global warming? Trump tweeted this morning. And, uh, well, what happened to it, uh, Donald, is it moved to Iceland. It moved to Iceland, where Iceland will not dip below freezing, according to the latest forecast, till at least Monday night. That in Iceland and I don't know whatever uh, other parts around the North Pole are seeing temperatures about 50 degrees Fahrenheit uh, above normal. So it is... Well, my sister is saying it's about 10 degrees below zero where she lives in Vermont today. So, uh, Iceland, which is how many, I don't know how much farther north than Vermont, is going to be about 60 degrees hotter than Vermont today because of the, the global warming and climate change throwing the jet stream completely out of whack. So if someone would, would like to tell Donald Trump what happened to global warming, it packed up and moved to the North Pole. Anyway, and I don't even want to know what the uh, forecast in Australia is for today. <clears throat> Uh, asked to respond to Trump, Deputy World WMO Chief Elena Manakova told reporters that the science underpinning global warming was unequivocal without challenging the clueless uh, moron in chief directly. I. The Greenhouse Gas Bulletin, the UN Weather Agency's annual flagship report, tracks the content of dangerous gases in the atmosphere since 1750. This year's report, which covers data for 2017, puts the concentration of CO2 in the atmosphere at 400 five and a half parts per million. That was at the end of 2017. That is up from 403.3 in 2016 and 400 in 2015. And 
so you can expect it to be, my guess is, I don't know, officially 407 to 408 when the, you know, when the final figures come in on December 31st for this year, uh, although uh, I, am, I just happen to be one of these people who believe this is one more a questionable statistic. And I'm sure that the actual figure is, is, is a lot higher. Uh, so, in, any of you feel free to comment on what you believe to be the true <clears throat> uh, measure. Okay, quote, <coughs> the last... <coughs> Damn it. The last time the Earth experienced a comparable concentration of CO2 in the atmosphere was three to five million years ago when the temperature was two to three degrees Celsius warmer than it is right now. Researchers have made reliable estimates of CO2 concentration rates going back 800,000 years using air bubbles preserved in ice in Greenland and Antarctica. But by studying fossilized material, the WMO has rough CO2 estimates going back as far as 5 million years. And I don't believe it. I do not believe this. <clears throat> in addition to carbon dioxide, the UN agency also highlighted rising levels of methane, nitrogen oxide, and another powerful ozone-depleting gas known as CFC-11. Hmm. And uh, are you aware that there is no magic wand to turn this around? Emissions are the main factor that determine the amount of greenhouse gas levels, but concentration rates are a new measure of what remains after a series of complex interactions between the atmosphere, biosphere, lithosphere, cryosphere, and the oceans. Uh, roughly 25% of all emissions are currently absorbed by the oceans in the biosphere, a term that accounts for all ecosystems on Earth. Uh, the UN Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change has said that in order to keep warming below one and a half degrees Celsius, net CO2 emissions must be at net zero, meaning the amount being pumped into the atmosphere must equal the amount being removed, either through natural absorption or technological innovation. Um, CO2 remains in the atmosphere and oceans for hundreds of years. Quoting uh, Deputy Chief Elena Manikova, quote, There is currently no magic wand to remove all that excess CO2 from the atmosphere. Every fraction of a degree of global warming matters, and so does every part per million of other greenhouse gases she said. According to the UN, 17 of the 18 hottest years on record have occurred since 2001, while the cost of climate-related disasters in 2017 topped $500 billion. And then they have this associated story uh, that the wildfires in California. They're saying in the year 2017 that on the entire globe 
that uh, climate-related disasters topped $500 billion. And then I was reading this one projection in another story that uh, looking at just the California wildfires in 2018, uh, if you call the California wildfires this year climate-related disasters, which they are, which anyone with a brain knows that they are, that in California alone in 2018 that the fires caused 400 billion, with a B, 400 billion dollars will be the ultimate uh, price tag on just the wildfires in the state of California. Uh, the, I anyone uh, acting like that climate change related disasters in 2017 were only 500 billion dollars. Well obviously uh, you have not been doing your homework and we have a uh, failure to communicate. But anyway, I'm going to wrap this up because uh, the little dog does not know it, but it is time for the little dog to get his B-A-T-H. Sancho, I got some bad news. It is time for your B-A-T-H. Sancho, do you realize that it is time for your B-A-T-H? You, little dog. Little dog. Little dog is fast asleep, dreaming of sugar plum, sugar plum fairies, I guess, and little squirrelies, not realizing he is headed to the bathtub. Happy Turkey Day, guys! Get out there and stuff your face while you still can. Bye, guys.